upgraded to a mid-size SUV. I love that for us. Wow. In three, two, one. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> That's a yummy. <yelling. laughs> wow, Hyundai Tucson. A nice little Tucson. With a back lid, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera, et cetera. How nice. A sitting area? You got a sitting area? Cute, cute, cute. Ah, that is the mini, mini, mini water view. <laughs> oh, we high. <laughs> we high up. Dude, cool. We're, look, we're above the P. Oh, yeah, the P in Porter. <laughs> cool. Okay. Now it's time for bed. Good morning, Portland. Portland. This is our view. Oh, wow. You pressed it? Yeah, I did. Good morning. This is my little outfit. Gio is filming me. I am wearing Buff Bunny Collection Foxy Flares. Honor Active Mellow Soft Puffer Vest. Oh my god, this is a wild list. I don't know where this is from. Oh, these are from Costco. Gio got me these. They're like Uggs, but not. So, woo! Oh, it's going up. It's going up! Oh my gosh, my crackly zoom. How fun is this? <laughs> okay, now that we're sitting here, because apparently, according to Google, this bridge is gonna be up for like eight. Oh, wait, it's actually going down. You see the red thing? You see how it's going up? Oh, the so counterweight. That's the counterweight, yeah, yeah. So then it drops it and it'll shoot it back up. Oh, tons. Tons, yes. Tons. But we are about to go to Pine State Biscuits. I've heard a lot of good things about this place. I feel like it's also super touristy. Every single like travel person that I've seen talk about Portland says to go to Pine State Biscuits. So, that's where we're heading right now after this bridge decides to drop. Honestly, it's kind of giving Austin with how Lady Bird Lake separates downtown from the rest of the city. I feel like Portland's the same way where the lake kind of separates downtown from the rest of the city. What is so crazy is that this is like probably one of the better coffees I've had from coffee shops and whatnot in like recent months. I feel like ever since Gio and I started playing around with espresso, espresso based drinks and then using our espresso machine, we haven't had the desire to <laughs> want to get coffee yeah. at all from coffee shops and whatnot in Austin because I'm just like, I just know what we make can be better. But this is really good. I mean like normally coffee shops are like, they're trying to just put out as much espresso or as much of XYZ coffee as possible for like the most amount of people so i get it but this was like high quality coffee like, oh okay yeah we will definitely be coming back to get beans there were a couple other like doohickeys that i saw too yeah that i wanted to get but anyway now we are on our way to nike in columbia to buy some clothes with no sales tax hell yeah <laughs>
on fire. Oh my god. This is really good. All the crazy things in there. You're not expecting the flavor. Mm -hmm. That's fire. Next step. Mm -hmm. Nothing's like melted or anything. It's like yes. you're using fresh flavors of everything. If there's one thing about me, I don't like cold sandwiches. But this is fire. <laughs> okay, took a little break. It's getting foggy in here. But we went downstairs. There's a little like fitness center meditation portion outside, which we love. But now we are in the pool. I don't know. I'm always really curious as to what hotels, this pools, and fitness centers look like. So we're just giving you guys a tour. If you were interested in seeing what the hotel looked like, then there you go. Has a little jacuzzi situation. Sauna over there. Love. This is actually super relaxing. And I think there's supposed to be a spa too. A pro dishing. We found it. It's the whole entire block. It looks like it, yeah. Jesus. Last one for the night? No, my, my last clip of the night. Oh, your last clip of the night. I was like... <laughs> he said, ain't no way that's your last shot of the night. It's supposed to 8.30. What's happening? Are we good? <laughs> This is today's fit check. So <laughs> I'm wearing Honor Active Rip Beanie in Steel Blue crew neck. Hollister jeans. I love these jeans. They're probably my most comfortable jeans. And then Nike P6000s. One of my favorite shoes ever for a little gray fit. <laughs> okay, good morning. We just got our coffee. Um, it's literally right next to our hotel. So let's try it. You wait, what are your thoughts about yours? Because you already tried yours. I thought I'm gonna wait for you. Oh, yeah. okay. I definitely taste that pretzel. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. I didn't like the first sip of it because it kind of tastes like um, either oat milk or almond milk, and mm -hmm. I hate coffees with almond milk. Okay, what would you rate the latte overall? Though yours? I like it. I'll give it like a like a three seven. Okay. A cool three seven. Cool. So now time for breakfast. <laughs> A big rock. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty! I see. Rock. Yes, 
right here. <laughs> I love crispy fries. This is good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. It's like perfectly crunchy. Mm -hmm. Not soggy. The bread is so soft. <laughs> Wow, this is so we ended up making a detour to 1927 s'mores. This is what it's looking like. That looks fire. We just got the original. Yeah, that's great. How are we gonna do this? Um, take a bite, and then I'll take a bite. Oh man, I just want you. Just Promise. chew. That, that, that's Promise weird. I want don't, you. Don't, be, don't be strange. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that sounds crunchy. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Dude, all the food has been fire. Mm-hmm. Everything's made in house. Mm -hmm. Marshmallows, ganache, graham cracker, everything. So, um, we are walking to Look Like. This is a restaurant that a lot of you guys actually recommended to me. And also, shout out to you guys because whenever I posted the story question box or whatever, um, asking for recommendations in Portland and Seattle, y'all came through. And we have been using those religiously. Yeah, honestly. Like, y'all are lifesavers. I'm never traveling again and not doing a little, like, question box or whatever for recommendations because this is literally saving us. We have, I think, like, two more days here. And um, there's just so many places that we feel like we need to visit. Um, so, yeah, Little Black was a place that a lot of y'all recommended. I was like, okay, I mean, it's four minutes away from the hotel walking. We out here. Thanks, guys. Can't wait to report back on how the food was. TSL Nova set. Uh, this was gifted to me and I love their Nova sets. I think it's called Vintage Mob. Paired it with my Zara coat. I got this on sale actually. <laughs> Nike Tech Hair Rust to match the fit. Um, and then my little tote bag. Woo! Morning! Um, we are on our way to get some coffee at Nosa Familia. I think we're in the Pearl District right now. We went here the first day, I think, for some sushi. So it's nice to actually see it in the daylight and whatnot. And then after that, I think we're going to Ken's Bakery. I've just been wanting some croissants, guys. That's all I've been wanting. And then after that, I don't know. We're just gonna kind of go where the wind takes us. Yeah. I'm just, now that I've been on vacations where I don't really plan much like at all, other than maybe one or two big things, I just don't care to plan anymore. I'm just kind of gonna go with the flow. And I feel like that's one of the most fun things to do because we just kind of walk around, explore, and find new things. Find new things and we vibing. So let's get some coffee. Little haul of what Ooh. I got. <laughs> like I told y'all, actually I might have not told you guys, I might have told my Instagram instead, but we don't have any coffee beans in I our jars beans. at home, like at all. So the purpose of this trip is also to stock up on beans. I got the Ernesto's House Roast. I love me like a good medium roast coffee, as well as the Full Circle one, which is their signature espresso blend that they use for all of their coffees. So love can't wait to try these and the roast date is really um 
close. This was posted two days ago. Jeez. Perfect, dude. This is gonna come out so freaking creamy. All right, let's try this actual. This is called the Bee Sting Latte. Cheers. Cheers. This is a cafezine. Cafezino? Like a Brazilian coffee? It has a lot of cinnamon on top. So I'm just tasting a lot of cinnamon right now. I think it's like a lot of spices that they use in like other types of coffee. Yeah, this does have a lot of like spices in it. It's like really sweet, but then you get like that punch of spice at the end. It's good though. No, it's good. It's like cozy. Now for croissants. The perfect pairing. Now for kids. Woo! <laughs> Alright guys, Paso is great. Um, the weather is actually phenomenal right now. It's actually sunny outside. So we've just been walking around the little waterfront, you know what I mean? And then now, um, I had this on my little bucket list <laughs> because I really wanted to see it, but we are going to the smallest park. Oh, that's the police oh. driving on the grass. Okay. Oh, oh. it's just said, I don't need a street. They're literally just driving on the grass. Uh, okay, but now we are going to be visiting the either the USA's smallest park or the world's smallest park. It's in the Guinness Book of Records. I'm pretty sure it's the smallest park in the world. We've passed this multiple times. I didn't see it until two nights ago or something like that. And it turns out we've been passing it every single time. It's literally right we there. So here. we are here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it, I think it's this one, right? Yes, it's oh. literally that hole. Oh. Right there. And it's like I'm... actually a recognized uh, park. It's so sad. <laughs> I don't even have like a tree or anything anymore. No. Did it have a tree before? Uh, I think it had a couple like sprouts, but now that it's oh. winter, it's just dead, so. Oh. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> um, it was 
this honey like that. Oh, shit. Dude. That's fire. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> Good morning. We are wearing these slacks from Cider. I actually have my Paragon Fitwear leggings underneath too, just as like little leg warmers and whatnot. Honor Active Mellow Soft Long Sleeve underneath, and then Honor Active All Day Hoodie in Cold. Honor Puffer, Honor Beanie, everything Honor, and a Nike P6000. <laughs> Woo! Good morning. We just got morning. coffee. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I got a hazelnut latte at NJ. The guy, I guess, won like a bunch of competitions. I guess he was like oh, the, that's right. yeah, he was like a barista champion last year. It is creamy though. Yeah. I like that. That's a good mouthfeel. Right now my mouth tastes like toothpaste, so. And now my tongue is on fire. So cool. Let's go to Jinju. This is a place that I've been wanting to go to for like past couple weeks, ever since I started doing research here, because I think it's a chocolatier and a pastry chef teamed up together, created this business. One of them worked at like various hotels and created like chocolate sculptures and whatnot. And then the other pastry chef, I think worked at Michelin star restaurants. So let us go. Okay. So we got the lemon raspberry tart. That looks delicious. We also got four of the little like bonbons and whatnot. I think that's dark silk hazelnut tiramisu and then we got this gigantic croissant that's like bigger than my face and then a spinach and feta tart <laughs> it is bigger than your face <laughs> that's crazy okay how are we gonna break this same way we did last time okay that's a fire croissant mm. look at these little layers the other one was more fluffy this one's more buttery i love the, the top layer mm -hmm. it's just really like it's really good so glad we came. I've been looking forward to this all week. This is the hazelnut bonbon. Wait, you can eat the whole thing? No, just half. <laughs> that tastes like a Ferrero Rocher. Wait, is this tiramisu or is it silk? I think it's silk. Oh, okay. I don't know what silk's supposed to taste like, but... I really like that one. Silk one is good. Okay. <laughs> so flaky. That bottom layer came off. <laughs> Those layers are crazy. And that flakiness is insane. Alright, you ready? Yeah. You just wanna go for it? Yeah, of cool. Is it hard? Oh, I don't yeah, understand. Okay, okay, oh, it's like a bread. Okay, okay. hold up. <laughs> they had to read just show me. <laughs> Whoa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. I need to focus. You gotta think of it. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. That's fire.
Gio and I just keep talking about how much we've been disrespected here. It's like actually, yeah, this food is wild. It's actually ridiculous how much we get disrespected every single day by the food here because it's just so freaking good. It's like, why is your food so good? That's crazy. Anywho, we made a pit stop at Kawava to pick up some more beans, some for our friends. So this is for our friend Jenny, and then for us two. We picked up these. Excited. Now we have four bags in total. Look how beautifully this all fits. So that goes in there. This goes there. And then look. Closes perfectly. I love a good little Tetris moment. <laughs> I think we're just gonna go to where are we going now? Sherrard Point. Because you can yes. see all you can see all the mountains. All the mountains from that one viewpoint. 54 minutes. Wow. Okay. Time to go. <laughs> My gosh, dude. What's even crazy about this is that like the tree canopies like up there are almost covering your view. Yeah, you can't see anything. Ice possible. <sighs> okay, here's the dealio. We tried going dealio. up to that viewpoint and then things got real sketchy real quick. There was logs on the road. There were logs on the road. Um, the tree started closing in together. Yeah. And <laughs> It started um, was hailing. Snow. Was it snow or was it hail? Oh, uh, it was hailing, but there was snow on the ground. Yes, that. Uh, so yeah, I'm not equipped for that type of maneuvering. Yeah. So we decided to turn back around with only eight minutes left of that drive. I think it was like another four miles, and we would have been there. But with how the circumstances were set up, that was not within the picture. And now we are at this woman's forum lookout point. So we were able to see Washington over there. It's a nice little lookout. So we're just gonna go over here and then see where the wind takes us. morning it is friday it is our last morning here we actually have to be heading to the airport within the next like 50 minutes or so but as of five minutes ago we headed to our favorite coffee shop kawaba oh. and got our final cup of coffee here in portland and then we're basically just heading to all of our favorite little spots around town to get breakfast and whatnot so we're going to ken's bakery and then we're also going to um bernstein's bagels bernstein's for bagels one last bagel because it was freaking fire and then we'll be heading off to the airport um we didn't go back to the same place twice throughout the entire trip which i was actually so happy that we didn't do because it just allowed us to try a bunch of different places and whatnot but i just wanted to close up this video this has been a great trip the food i was talking about this on my instagram stories like two days ago but the food scene here is like disrespectful it is so good for no it's reason <laughs> for no crazy. reason just like every single place that we've gone to was flames absolute fire and we just can't wait to go back like we definitely want to go back during the summer time fall time just to experience different seasons and whatnot because a couple of notes that i had was that it was a little bit dreary here i mean we knew that coming in though like we wanted to experience all of portland um like especially during one of the rainiest dreariest coldest seasons to see if it was a place that we can like withstand and it was still great thank you for joining us on our little vacation and i really hope that y'all took away a couple things from it as well if you're looking to travel to portland soon i'll put all of the restaurants and whatnot that we ate at down in the description just so it's easier on the eyes and whatnot but obviously i'll have it scattered through the video as well so hope you all enjoyed my food vlog food vlog food vlog food vlog follow me over on instagram and tiktok at tracy fit if you haven't already and stay tuned for more videos coming your way so so soon but until then i will talk to you guys later so bye